event, Sarah, hundreds of people attended that vigil tonight outside of East Granby Public Library as this small community grapples with the loss of someone they described as a beloved member of this town. A community coming together in mourning. To honor a woman who was taken before her time who did not need to be. The town's library director, 48-year-old Doreen Jasius, the victim of a murder-suicide. Monday evening, a vigil was held outside of the East Granby Public Library to remember her. Thoughtful, kind, um, very caring. Her job at the library suited her very well. She was very proud of what she did, and she did a great job at it. Those who knew Jasius all described her the same way, a beloved member of the community who made an impact through her work. Any complaints, she, your kids got taken care of. She did her job. She's a good woman. To find out that this happened to her was a real blow. She was a sweet, kind, lovely person. Jacius' husband, 49-year-old Thomas T.J. Jacius, died by suicide. He was a sergeant for the Avon Police Department. The couple was found dead in their home on Winding Hills Road Sunday evening. The incident, devastating to the small community. And it's only about 5,200 people in the town. And uh, when you have something like this happen, you, you, you don't expect it. It's such a shock. It was one of several incidents of domestic violence over the weekend, including another murder-suicide in Wethersfield. The Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence wants everyone to know there's always help out there. So some of those services include counseling, um, support groups, um, emergency, emergency shelter. We just always want survivors to know that they're not alone. And tonight, the flag is at half staff outside of the library, which was closed today and will remain closed until Friday. We do have more information on domestic violence resources on our website, fox61.com. Live in East Granby, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.